So here's an update on the DC motor dynamometer. Uh, I got some more uh, parts in. I picked up this um, digital tachometer and then this dual voltmeter and meter to uh, test the load. It came with this shunt and then uh, I picked up this free toaster oven and the plan is to use the heating elements out of it to serve as the load. Um, I was hoping that the temperature knob would be um, more of a resistor so that I could kind of slowly turn it up and uh, apply the load in, in, a, in a more gradual fashion, but I should have thought that through a little better because all it is is a, uh, a thermostat. So it just turns it on and off based on the temperature. So I did some calculations. I went to the public library and I checked out this watt meter. Um, they call it a kilowatt. And so I plugged it in and cranked up the toaster oven. And its uh, factory spec is that it's a 1200-watt uh, uh, toaster oven, which it's pretty much true to. So when I turned uh, 200 degrees, it was uh, putting out about, it was uh, consuming about 1136 watts at about 9.7 amps and of course as it got hotter the wattage consumption went down but I did notice that on the broil setting it of course is using just the top heating elements so it cut the power usage in half so I think what I might do is take the uh, heating elements out of it and um, run them in uh, parallel and then maybe have some sort of um, selector system so that I can turn on one element, two elements, three elements, four elements and apply um, a gradual load in that way. Um, I'm going to connect up this voltmeter and kind of play around with it and um, I'm also working on the uh, belt system to uh, couple up with the um, micro V belt on the flywheel. Uh, it's turning out to be a little bit more difficult to find pulleys for that belt style there are only a few suppliers and they're kind of expensive so I'd like to continue using that V belt because I have the belt and the flywheel is really nice too um, but the, the second pulley is not cheap and then I'm going to start to design the uh, bearing support system and the second shaft that will couple up with the uh, gas motors uh, if you have any suggestions let me know I've been searching YouTube for good videos. I found some really neat dynamometers that guys have built for their one-fifth RC cars, um, one-fifth RC uh, race cars and, and dune buggies and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I, I'm really curious to see what bearings they use for those dynamometers. Um, I'm interested in also uh, connecting sensors with an Arduino and having it graph out using simple dyno. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, just let me know. Thanks.